The following is a class on the Srimad Bhagavatam, first canto, third chapter, text number one, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on November 14th, 1972, in Vrindavan, India. Jagri Paurusana Rupam Bhagavan Mahadali Sambhutam Sura Sakalam Adho Loko Sisikshaya So Adho in the beginning, the Loko Sisikshaya for creating the cosmology. Jagrihe Paurusan Rupam person. The creation is coming from the person and not uh, from imperson. The modern scientists, uh, their theory of creation, there are something matter, chunk or something like that. What do they say? What is the beginning of creation? I give proof. Anyway, huh? but here we find it quite reasonable because Everything is from the person, jagrihe paurusam rupam, rupam, form. It is not from imperson, jagrihe paurusam rupam. So, we don't theorize, we accept the statement of the Vedas, that is our process of knowledge, descending process. We take knowledge from the authority. Of course, the scientists also say they take from authority, but originally, as explained by our Hagrid <coughs> Prabhu, it does not appear that the knowledge was taken from authority, the theory. Theory, one can put theory of his own, and there are so many theories, uh, but we don't accept theories. Uh, we want solid fact. The solid fact is uh, <coughs> the Lord Created. In the Bible also it is said, the God said that there is creation. It is from the person. Here also we find the creation begins from the person. Uh, uh, <coughs> in the Vedas it is said, Sa Oikhata Sa-asrijata, by the glance, he looked over, God looked over, and he created the references to the person. We also find from our experience that whenever there is something manufacturing our creation, we do not find automatically some matter uh, uh, comes into being. We don't, we, we, we have such experience. Whenever there is anything manufactured or created, there is a person behind it. <coughs> so uh, this is not a very good theory 
that from the junk or some matter exploded and immediately the universe came into existence. Uh, that is not a very good theory. But this is nice. Jagrihe Paurusam Rupa. Uh, this Paurasam, uh, the Mahavishnu, uh, Garbhodaksai Vishnu, and Hirodaksai Vishnu, uh, they are expansion of Krishna. Addaita Achyuti Anadi Ananta Rupam. He incarnates, he expands himself in various incarnations. Now, for the creation, these three uh, persons, all as persons, Garbhodaksai Vishnu person, Thirodaksai Vishnu person, and uh, Karanar Navajal, Karanar Navasai Vishnu person. And Karunana is a Vishnu, Mahavishnu. He is also expansion of Sankarsa. And Sankarsa is expansion of Baladev. Baladev is expansion of Krishna. <coughs> uh, therefore, Krishna becomes the origin. Ishara Parama Krishna Satchidananda Vigraha Anadi. Uh, he has no beginning, but he is beginning. Anadi Adi. He, is a, he has no beginning, but he is the beginning of creation. Anadi Adi Govinda Sarva Karana Karana. <coughs> so, Mahatattva, the total material energy, and uh, six, uh, five elements. Uh, Sixteen, sixteen, Sorusakala. Uh, what are those? The five elements, uh, namely uh, earth, water, fire, air, and uh, sense objects and senses, and uh, the spirit soul in this way, sixteen. And from sixteen it expands to twenty-four. Uh, that is the explanation of our Vedic creation. Sorasakala. Just say Kanishasita Kalama Thavalamma Jivanti Loma Bilaja Jagadandana Tha Vishnu Mahan Saiha Jasakala Visheso Govindamadi Purutan Tamahamanya. Mahavishnu, from the skin hole of Mahavishnu, the uh, small particles of universes are coming into being. Uh, <coughs> everything, the nature's way, it comes a very small particle, then it grows. Anything you take, just like our body, the small particle, the soul, it is measured as one ten thousand part of the tip of the hair when it is placed in the omb of the uh, oval uh, by the man, uh, then the body grows. Uh, that is the seed. Ahanga Bija Pada Pita, Krishna says, that I am the seed giving father. Uh, so just like uh, here. We practically see the male semina is injected uh, within the umba of the female, and because the living entity, very small, one ten thousand part of the people is there, because that living entity is there, the body grows. Uh, unless the living entity is there, there will be no pregnancy. Uh, as soon as the living entity is there, the body grows, and that is known as pregnancy. Daily growth, the mother can understand it is growing. Similarly, without the spirit soul entering into the matter, there is no possibility of creation. 
in the Bhagavad Gita also it is said, Vishtabhya aham ekangsena athva bahunaitena kingyatena tabhajna Vishtabhya aham ekangsena sthitoja. Because I have entered into this universe by my plenary portion, therefore it is existing. Uh, it is explained in the Bhagavad Gita. So, without spiritual touch, there is no question of matter uh, working or expanding or growing. There is not possible. So, in the seed of any tree, because there is that living entity, therefore it goes into a big tree. Uh, every t- tree, they are also living entity in a different form. So, <coughs> here also in the creation, without the supreme living entity entering within the Mahatattva, there is no possibility of creation. We can <coughs> very easily understand by the example of our own body. Uh, this body, as we spirit soul enter into this body, the Existence of body uh, continues. Janma dasa jataha. So the body is not created uh, first. Uh, they, because the living entity enters into the body, therefore the body is created. Similarly, this gigantic body, universal body, cannot come into existence automatically. That is not a very good theory. How? There is no such example. Uh, unless the living entity is there, this body, we get this experience, it does not grow. If a child is born, dead, the body does not grow. Therefore, it is to be concluded, there is something, even if we do not accept the spirit soul, there must be something uh, on account of the presence of that something, the body is going. Uh, similarly, take this gigantic body of the universe, unless there is something like that, as we are in this body, how this gigantic universe can go? Uh, this is common reasoning. Uh, uh, we do not find that a... <coughs> Matter is growing automatically. No. A tree, a tree is growing, daily growing, new leaves, new twigs, new flowers, uh, because that living entity is within the tree. Uh, you cut the tree and throw it aside, there will be no more growing, it will dry. It will dry. Hmm? Therefore, the conclusion is, as it is said here, that Jagrihe Paurusam Rupam. It is the Supreme Personality of Godhead. He, after entering into the matter, there is possibility of creation. Otherwise, there is no possibility of creation. Now, <coughs> this creation, is, because it is material creation, it does not exist. Uh, forever. It is come into existence and again it will be finished, annihilated. Exactly like our body. <coughs> As this body, we have got uh, this body and certain death and it has got to be annihilated at a certain death. Similarly, this gigantic cosmology material manifestation, it has a death of creation and it, it stays for some time. Everything material, there are six changes. First of all, birth, uh, then staying for some time, then growing, uh, then producing some byproducts, and <coughs> then dwindling, and then finish. Exactly like our body. Just like this body, 
is born at a certain date, then it grows, it stays, it produces some byproduct. From this body, many children come out, byproduct. <coughs> then it becomes old, declining, and then one day finishes. This is called sarovikar, six changes. Six changes. So similarly, there are six changes of this material world also, uh, because it is also material product. Uh, <coughs> so as I and you enter in our body, similarly, Vishtabhya uh, Aham, <coughs> Krishna says, he enters uh, within this material world. Therefore, the creation takes place, his growth, uh, it gives us so many byproducts, and then again there will be destruction. It is said at the time of destruction, first of all, there will be no rain. <coughs> no rain for hundreds of years. So everything will dry up and die. Uh, practically by continuous sunshine, and it is said the sun sign will be very, very powerful, twelve times powerful. So everything will be, will be ablaze, blazing into fire. And then there will be rain. As we have experienced, after excessive heat, there is cloud and rain. So there will be rain, and everything will be absorbed into water, and the water will be evaporated in this way. This material world, cosmic manifestation, will be no more. Again, there will be creation, mahatattva, bhutta bhutta praliyat. That is stated in the. This material world comes into existence and stays for some time. Again, it becomes annihilated. But there is another world that is called spiritual world, parastas mastu bhava anya. That is sanātana, that is eternal. And God, Krishna, is eternal. We are also eternal. Uh, that is stated in many places. Jīva sanātana, jīva loke sanātana. And Krishna is also described as sanātana in the eleventh chapter. And there is another world which is also sanātana. Uh, parastasmātu bhāva anyā bhaktā bhaktā sanātana. So Krishna is sanātana, that world is sanātana, we are sanātana. Therefore we should meet together. Uh, and the process which helps us to go back to home, back to Godhead, and stay in that sanātana place with the sanātana Lord, that is called sanātana dharma. Sanātana dharma does not mean that a particular class of man having uh, a particular type of dress or hair. Uh, no. Sanātana dharma is meant for all living entity. Uh, they are rotting in this material world. Uh, uh, repetition of birth and death, that is asanātana. So every human being should be educated to accept this sanātana dharma, how one can go back to home, back to God. That is Krishna consciousness number. So sanātana dharma is not meant for a particular class of men. It is meant for all living entities. Uh, unfortunately, uh, uh, the Hindu dharma or sanātana dharma, they are identified, and as if others have no right to enter into the sanātana dharma. No. That's not a fact. The fact is every living entity is sanātana. And the process by which a living entity is transferred to the sanātana dharma, uh, sanātana place, <laughs> That is called sanātana dharma. It is sanātana dharma is misunderstood. Just like in India, uh, there are classes of men who call, we are sanātanists. 
देख एवरी वन सिटी सनातन इज सनातन धर्म इज नॉट मेंट फॉर ए पर्टिकुलर क्लास ऑफ मैन और कंट्री और सोसाइटी सनातन धर्म मीन इट इज मेंट फॉर द लिविंग एंटिटीज द रियल ऑक्यूपेशनल ड्यूटी ऑफ द लिविंग एंटिटी इज कॉल सनातन धर्म धर्म मीन्स नॉट रिलीजन धर्म मीन्स द नेचुरल कैरेक्टरिस्टिक That is dharma. We don't mean dharma is uh, it is certain type of faith. No, faith or no faith, the characteristic must be there. Uh, just like salt, uh, it has got a particular type of taste. So you like it or not like it, the taste is there. Ah. Uh. It is, uh, if, you, if you think that I have faith that salt should be sweet, uh, no, that cannot be. You may have faith, you may create that faith that salt has the sweet taste, but that's not a fact. Uh, similarly, if you uh, say I have got my faith that sugar will be pungent, no, that cannot be. Sugar has got a particular type of taste that will continue. You may have believe it or not believe. It does not depend. And faith means you believe. You can change it. Uh, therefore, dharma, the exact word dharma, uh, is different from the dictionary meaning, English dictionary, the kind of faith. Religion means a kind of faith. We don't mean that. Therefore, Krishna says, "The Sarva Dharman Paritajya Mami Kang Saranamma." That means the so-called faith is given. It is a faith. I am Hindu. I am Muslim. I am Christian. Uh, I am this. I am that. This is a kind of faith. You are neither Hindu, neither Muslim, neither Christian. You are servant of Krishna. And that is real character, uh, and actually we are servant. We are serving. That is our character. Either he may be Hindu or Muslim or Christian, but the real uh, business is that everyone is serving. Uh, it is not that because I am Hindu I don't serve, or because one is Christian he doesn't serve. No, everyone is serving. But he is serving Maya. Uh, he is serving uh, Kam, Krodh, Lo, Moh, Masaj. He is serving. In this material condition, we are serving our whims, Kam. Sometimes I become angry and I serve my anger. I beat others. That means I am serving anger. I am serving my lust. I am serving my greediness. So we have become, instead of becoming servant of Krishna, we have become the servants of all the uh, enemies. Practically, they are enemies. Kama yusha krodha yusha rajaguna samas, or in uh, <coughs> other words, we are servants of the three material modes of nature. But we are servants. That we cannot deny. So the whole Krishna consciousness movement is that instead of becoming servant of these three modes of nature, you become servant of Krishna. That is your original body. He cannot give up your position as servant. In the Bengali proverb, there is Dheki, Sagagila Dhan Bhami. When a Dheki, That machine, the wooden machine, is uh, husking machine. So, if you send it to the heaven, then what will do? The same business. It does not mean the dhaki, while it is promoted in the heaven, it can become sword or anything else. No. Similarly, we living entities, we have desire to enjoy this material world. But our position is servant. 
We have not changed our position. Uh, we revolted to serve Krishna. That is all right. But what is your position here in the material world? No, that is also servant. Just like I told Professor Kotovsky that your communism, what is the difference between your communism and our Krishna consciousness movement? You have selected Lenin as your leader or master, and we have selected Krishna as our leader or master. So on the principle, where is difference? Huh? The professor could not answer. Huh? So the professor could not answer, but he was impressed. So actually, what is this meaning of communism? You simply change a change of master. That's all. And this is going on. All political leaders, they are going from one political leader to another, and he is exploiting. That's all. He he is giving some manifesto that if you give me vote, then I shall make you overnight a king. All false propaganda. And this rascal gives him vote, huh? and he again remains the same servant. That's all. Uh, there is a Bengali song, Tabe Kali Tomar Bharusa Balo Kekar, Aponar Karma Phal Jedi Phali Vyama. So if I remain the same servant, then why shall I vote to you? You cannot make me master. But my desire is that I shall become master. Uh, that is called illusion, because I am not master. I cannot become master. I have to remain servant. I am flattering someone. Please make me master. Please make me master. Uh, and that is my position. This political party, that political party. Therefore, the sane man, uh, one who has got good brain, uh, sumedha, sumedha, and alpo medha. Medha means brain substance. Uh, sumedha sa. Uh, sumedha sa. That is what the Sumedha. Uh, yeah, yes. Uh, Sankirtanai Prai Jajanti hi Sumedha. Sumedha. And there is another word, Alpa Medha. Antavatu Phalanti Sam Tata Bhavati Alpa Medha. Sumedha means good bread. And Alpamada means rascal, less brain substance. Sometimes we say, chastise, that in your brain, your this skull is filled up with cow dung. There is no brain substance. So those whose brains are filled up with cow dung, uh, they want to exploit this material world. It is impossible. It is not possible. Under certain pleas only that this political party will give you better chance for exploiting. But you cannot do that. It is not possible. This is called Maya. It is an illusion. I am thinking if I make certain more progress. We see in America they are increasing the number of motor cars and the problem is road. One flyway over, over another fly over another fly. The flyway construction is going on perpetually. Is it not? And this is called advancement. The rascal do not know that I am simply laboring, laboring, laboring. Where is the stoppage of laboring? No. That you can stop. Your progress means you simply work hard. And because you are illusion, that hard working, you are thinking progress, happiness. Yes. This is Kalma. He is working just like an ass. Eh? The ass, ass, ass is working whole day and night for the washerman, man, for a monster of grass. But as why it is called as, he can, the as can have grasses anywhere. But he for that grass 
He is working very hard for the water. Therefore, he is there. He has no sense that why I shall work for this washerman so hard. I can get this morsel of grass anywhere. But he'll work. Uh, so, as politician, as family man, as community leader, so all asses. Mura. Namang prapadante mura. All asses. They will not surrender to Krishna to get relief. They will work like ass. Therefore, Krishna says, Namang prapadante mura. Duskiti na naradhama. Huh? You have no brain. Albu medhasa. Huh? No brain substance. Filled up with cow dung. Huh? And those who have got real brain, then for them it is recommended. Jag Sankitanai Pray, Jagai Sankitanai Pray, Jajanti hi Sumeva. Krishna Varnam Tisha Krishna Sangha Panga Sapasadam Jagai Sankitanai Pray, Jajanti hi Sumeva. Oh, one who has got brain, he catches Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Krishna Varna, all is chanting Hare Krishna Mantra, Sangha Panga Asta Parsudai, and simply was he by chanting Hare Krishna. Uh, that is brain service. All cow done. Thank you very much.